hello hello dreamers and welcome back to dream queen by perla as always guys thank you for all your love and support thank you for liking sharing subscribing and if you haven't done so i encourage you to do so it helps with growing the channel getting the video out there for more people as well as keeping you accountable for personal readings all that information can be found in the description below um pisces this week you're not going to recognize yourself whether it is that you're finally manifesting or achieving a specific goal or something like that but there's something in your energy that you're gonna look at yourself and like like i did that or i said that or whatever it is this may be um set, standing up for yourself this may be um setting an intention and actually seeing it through this week this may be setting certain boundaries this 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 energy seems something out of character for you but it's something that is definitely needed um and again guys these are general readings so just take whatever um applies in your own personal life but there is a change that you are making there is a a new path or a new direction that you're taking in your life that it's it's almost kind of like whoa but that's not pisces like pisces doesn't do that like that's not normal for pisces but this is not something that other people are saying this is something like like you're saying like whoa i normally wouldn't do that or oh, i normally wouldn't say that i normally wouldn't and it's and it's kind of like you're surprising yourself with how many risks and how many um how many leaps you're taking this week um any self-doubt or any questioning that you may have had when it comes to certain things in your life um regardless of the area in your life you're no longer questioning you're allowing yourself to walk um by faith you're allowing yourself to to take the to take the steps that you're being guided to take and what that brings is this new profound way of of you seeing yourself or the way that you identify yourself right um where maybe like and this is just a quick example right when when people would ask me like oh like describe yourself like who are you i would go into a list like i'm perla i'm a nurse i'm a mom i'm a wife i'm a this i'm a that da, 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 da. and it's like no who are you and when you finally get to that point of like who are you I'm Perla, right? And that's it. I'm Perla. Now, everything else that falls under that are just titles of things, of parts of my life. But they do, they do not describe who I am as a whole, right? My name describes me as a whole. And that's kind of like the energy that you're moving into. Where you're, you're finally either accepting certain things about yourself. You're finally learning to love yourself you're finally learning to give yourself that self-love and we're not talking about anything vain here guys um self-love is not just sitting in front of a mirror saying hey i love myself self-love comes in a way of how you show up for yourself um are you taking care of yourself are you taking care of your health are you taking care of your 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 mental health are you taking care of your emotions are you setting boundaries when where they're needed are are you showing off for those um for those appointments that you have set up for yourself right because when people say self-love a lot of people automatically think it's like oh i love my i, I love myself i love my body um yeah you can say that a hundred times but if your actions are not matching what you're saying then it is a vain thing right because it, it, it is just superficial so we're not talking about superficial self-love here we're talking about actual love actual like that 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 core love that comes from the actions that you take on an every single day basis now every day it is going to be different sometimes that self-love i'm sorry guys i feel like i have a piece of hair or something Sometimes that love, that self love, can represent itself in a way of a rest, right? Taking a rest day. Um, sometimes that can be taking a walk. Sometimes that can be going all in for an entire day, doing this, doing that. But regardless of what that is for yourself, it is something that that you're finally getting, or you're finally like you finally have a grip on it. So let's go ahead and let's pull out some tarot just to clarify or see if there's anything else. <clears throat> that that self battle that you've had with yourself um those 
those moments where you question yourself or where you doubt yourself, those are those are clearing um out of your energy for those of you that are still struggling with that. Um so we have the five of uh, the five of wands in the reverse, the knight of swords, and then we have the six of coins is in the reverse. So um needing needing to know that unless you're working on yourself on a daily basis um th there are certain patterns or certain behaviors that can come back around right so if you allow your if you allow that self negative talk or that doubt to seep in it it almost feels like you're constantly going to have to be working towards um silencing it right so instead allow yourself to start every day um affirming or stating what it is that your day is going to be like um so that you don't allow that energy to creep back in so we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull out an oracle card now this can be confirmation to the reading this can be your advice or something that you're not seeing clearly that you need to be made aware of One more. 51. This card has been coming out a lot. Stars in the sky, limitless possibilities. There's so much more out there. There's so much more to explore. There's so much more to experience. There's so much more to take advantage of. And only when you got when you come to that place of actual true self love, when you're showing up for yourself, are you able to reap the benefits that those opportunities bring about? So, final message, final message for Pisces, spirit, final message for Spice, Pisces, joy. Spread seeds of joy like a wildflower, and no doubt. You will, you will revel in the results. So whatever it is that you want, whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish, whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, you're being asked to plant those seeds without any doubt. You're being asked to set those intentions and to take actions. And when you set an intention and you procrastinate in taking actions, that is a form of doubt, just in case, right? It's not always doubting yourself like, oh, you know, I can't do this. No, sometimes like, okay, I'm good. I want to do this, but then you don't start. Why are you not starting? There's an underly, underneath a doubt that is stopping you and it is allowing you to procrastinate into getting something done. Well, guys, that is all that I have for you for this week. As always, thank you for all your love and support. Sending every single one of you love, strength, and blessing. Take care. Love you all. Bye-bye.